No one stays the same forever. If they did, then it'd be boring. The sapphire is located in the sun in a castle which belongs to the royal family and the evil team are trying to get it. So how do the superheroes get in when it's so hot? Well, there are teleportation spears that can make vortexes so their ships can go through. Here we try to encourage people that their expression is important and that they can say what they want to say through an artwork or through a story. You can see children becoming more confident with art, the neurons firing, learning techniques and getting excited about ideas. Critical thinking kind of comes with that too. They learn a new way of thinking and looking at the world as well. Bailey loves coming to Pom Poms because there's different things every single weekend. The kids just like the atmosphere, they're learning skills. When they come to Pom Pom, they are more social, they're more confident. They feel free to just explore. And what are the bad guys trying to do usually? Pretty much take over the universe and destroy everyone on Earth. Why do they want to destroy everything on Earth? Because to them, the Earth is just a useless rock. Useless rock. In the past, there may not have been as much encouragement um, as there is now. There's lots of uh, opportunities and there's lots of support for people to be involved in contemporary visual art or performing arts and dance. Learned a few cool tricks to you know, with the arts and crafts. You know, everything from making pom poms to you know polystyrene creatures and everything in between. It's a good um, excuse to actually do art as well and be kid. Lots of projects going on in and around this area, and people are really embracing it. So yeah, it's an exciting time here. What I love about pom pom is that children and families using it have a sense of community, which is nice. They say it takes a village to raise a family and I believe when you socialise and build it together you make your village. We came here because our friends were coming here. Everyone else who was living in the community said just come along anyway, she'll like it because of the colours. And as she grew, you know, at one years of age she's already drawing, um, painting, doing amazing things. For people to get together and do it in a group setting, in a community setting, um, you forge friendships and you also get inspired by everyone else as well and so that I think is really important. The villains, I think they could have a good heart, that they actually aren't all bad, that they might be nice. With the right motivation, anyone can change. The people that keep coming back to Pom Pom, the families know each other, the arts workers know the families and the kids. It, it's a nice place to keep coming back to. Watching the participants sort of be challenged and maybe struggling a bit and then be surrounded by that support and kind of push through bits that might be a bit tricky and then get to an end product that they're really happy with. It's really interesting to watch them kind of grow and develop. For the area we're in, it's just such a fantastic thing that's available for us to be able to come and do and that's why three and a half years on we're still regularly turning up. So yeah, thank you to the community and Pom Pom. So you think there's hope that we might have some powers on Earth one day? Yes. What power would you have? Magic. Magic. You can do pretty much anything when you've got magic. It's the ultimate superpower.